Hello, everyone. This is your host, Deborah Poneman, and I'd like to welcome you to our call with today's guest, Lori Spagna. After a series of near-death experiences, Lori radically transformed her life and now has over 20 years of experience serving humans and animals around the world as an interspecies communicator. She's also featured in the HBO movie, Animals in the Afterlife. Lori is a visionary, light worker, professional intuitive, animal communicator, energy healer, and canine behavioral expert for the spiritually conscious. She's also certified in Reiki, Theta Healing, EFT, Akashic Records Reading, and other healing techniques. Lori also leads healing seminars and powerful manifestation workshops on how we can tap into the universal laws which govern us all and how we can improve our lives by activating our dormant DNA, RNA, and by learning from animals. And today you'll discover the truth about ascension, what it is and what it really means for you in the near and distant future how our bodies are changing and what our dormant DNA strands actually do to support us, our dreams and our life purpose, how to change your reality and create new paradigms and how to navigate through the speeding up of time. Lori will also give us a guided meditation experience specifically designed to help us tap into our intuitive gifts. Lori, thank you for being with us today. Welcome to the call. Hi, Deborah. Thank you so much for having me. I'm so excited to be connecting with you today and sharing all this incredible information with all of your listeners. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. I love your information. I learn something new from you every time. I experience something new with you every time. So I am thrilled. And I would love if you could take a couple minutes and share with everyone what you believe to be the major turning points that allowed you to become who you are today and have all of this knowledge to share with the world. Well, for me, it really was born out of a deep and profound love for animals and that I I spent most of my life in corporate America. And I had a mantra in my mind that was, I, I wanted to be of service to animals on a global scale. And I didn't know how, and I kept asking how. And I also wanted the truth of everything, no matter what. And I wanted God to be my boss. And those three statements were things that I was saying over and over again in my head. But I had spent 20 years in corporate America saying those. And during those 20 years, actually what happened with me was I ended up gaining, you know, 60 pounds in excess body weight. And I was smoking excessively and drinking excessively and using pharmaceutical drugs excessively, you know, under you know, medical guidance. And I was drinking two pots of coffee. I mean, my body was a mess. Everything was a mess. And really what ended up happening was my my brother passed away unexpectedly. And he was a divine messenger for me. He really woke me up and said, you need to transform your life or else you're next in line. And so I went away to Maui for two years and I started really developing a lot of the gifts that we'll be talking about today and really transforming my life. And within the two years, all of that was gone. The cigarettes, the alcohol, like excessive drinking, the, the pharmaceutical drugs, the 65 pounds of weight, the, the debt, I was in financial debt up until that point, it was all gone, caffeine. And I started a new career at the same time and was actually even overcoming a divorce, you know, getting over, a, a, surviving a divorce, so to speak. So all of that transformed in two years through the work that I was doing, which I'm now teaching about. And that was, that's really how I, how I arrived at this. Well, I can't imagine you 60 pounds heavier, but you're probably beautiful even then, (laughs) but I don't know about the pots of coffee and the cigarettes. Wow. Yeah, I was really a mess. I mean, but this is what I'm saying is I only really tell that story so that people can really understand I was really in bad shape and this kind of work really works. And it was in such a short period of time, relatively speaking, that all of those things were gone and they're still gone. I mean, it's now almost five years since I'm back from Maui and none of that stuff is in my life anymore. None of those things. 
Yeah. Well, then we want to know what you did. And I know that you talk about not only our personal shifts, but this evolutionary shift of consciousness and how we and our animal companions are changing during this process that I guess is taking place in all of creation. Is that correct? Yeah, as far as I'm aware, we are going through a shift of consciousness, an awakening, a reemergence, a reconnection with our connection to source, the source, the divine, the creator, whatever words you want to use, the, the quantum field of energy, of universal life force, which runs in and through every living being and runs in and through and around everyone, everywhere, everything, and there's nowhere that it's not. So that's really what the shift is. It's really waking us up to the truth of who we are. So, yeah, and it's going on universally, of course. Well, then what does ascension mean as opposed to just shifting our consciousness and waking up? How does ascension work with this evolutionary shift? Ascension is a, effectively, it's the transformation of our bodies and beings, all aspects of who we are, mind, body, emotions, intellect, energetic essence of who we are, spirit, so all aspects of who we are is transforming from just a physical experience of what we would call density or heaviness, where I'm a body and you're a body and we have absolutely no connection. We're separated and we are not even connected to source. Source is something we go to on Sundays, you know, or Friday nights to pray, but in some location, we're moving from that state of reality to a new reality, not just in our minds, in all aspects. Our bodies and our beings transform into effectively what we would call light bodies, where our entire genetics change. We shift from carbon-based to a crystalline-based. It's so transformative. It's happening on all aspects of us. So when we talk about ascension, it's really the lightening up. The shortest way to say it, the quickest, easiest way is we are lightening up. We are enlightening ourselves. We are becoming enlightened so that we drop away everything of heaviness and everything associated with separation, all concepts, beliefs, and ideas, etc. Yes, it completely makes sense that we are lightening up. And two questions. I mean, I've never heard that before, that we're actually shifting from a carbon base to crystalline base. Uh, intuitively, that sounds true. But what I would like to know is, is that happening for every human on the planet, every creature on the planet? And what do we do with that information? How do yeah. we make use of it in our daily lives? Yeah. Well, so here's the thing. What we know scientifically is that we have at least 12 strands of DNA. This is scientifically valid. And that up until less than a year ago, Scientists thought that the other 10 strands were junk and that we were only using two, which are protein building strands of DNA and store up our genetics, right? The information. But now we know scientifically, it has been published by Russian scientists, that these 10 strands of what were called junk DNA are now labeled as dormant. They're not junk, that they're good for something. They don't know what, but that they can be awakened. So this is published as scientific fact that what can awaken them is some combination of light and or sound and certainly energy. And that as these dormant DNA are awakened, new potential exists. That's what they're going to be determining over the next coming years. But that's what we know scientifically. So when you ask your question, what, what good is this? What we're talking about here is unlocking the dormant potential which lies encoded in our own DNA. And this is really what ascension is. It's the process of doing that, which allows us to step into our light bodies. We keep our bodies. They just transform into different kind of energetics. Okay. So this totally makes sense. I understand that these other 10 strands that they discovered, they could be awakened by light, sound, or for sure energy, yeah. how does your work tie in with this? Is that something that you do with your work, that you help people enliven those other 10 strands so they're no longer dormant? 
Yeah, absolutely. Because the key is that right now, everybody on planet Earth, we're all wanting something. What are we wanting? We're wanting to be restored to our ideal health and well-being. We're wanting to be youthful and full of vitality. We want longevity. Okay, that's one area. We also want to be happy and joyful. We want to play and have fun. We also want to be in love and share relationships in romance and with friends and family. We also want to have lots of abundance and prosperity, whether that's financial or just in terms of the richness of our lives. Of course, we want material things. We know that those are really enjoyable. I mean, we've now learned that cars and houses are not the first most important thing, but they certainly are nice pleasures to enjoy in life. We also want um, career success, whatever matters to us in terms of our career, what our dreams and goals and desires are in terms of career. And these are the general themes in life that everybody's working towards. Now, what does this have to do with DNA? Well, the answers to all of it, all of those aspirations, those goals, those desires, they are within the DNA. So as we start to unlock these codons in the DNA and the RNA, we start to receive and have all of the information that we've been looking for, that we've been wanting, that we've been needing, desiring, as if it's something outside of us to have those things. It's not. It's all within us. This is the transformative way of thinking because it's not about pursuing something outside of us. It's about waking up what's within us so that we can call it to us. It's already here. Does that make sense? Yes. Well, I just want to repeat it just to make sure that I understand. So let's just talk about a car, okay, just because that's easy. Okay, so we all would want like this really gorgeous BMW, all right? Right, <laughs> right. So we unlock that, and is it that we then more effortlessly manifest that? Well, it is, but it's even it's even more than that. If you're talking about a car or whatever you might be talking about, whether it's feeling useful and vibrant, whether it's you know regressing your age and aging slower, whatever it is. The codes for that are inside of you. So let's say you, if you want a car, it's not really about manifesting it, although manifesting is huge. I mean, I teach about manifestation. It's a wonderful, amazing set of tools to practice that. But it's really about the recognition that there's no longer ever going to be lack or wanting. So say in this example, you wanted a car, you know within you how to alchemize it. Alchemizing is manifestation. It's, it's what the masters did to say, okay, I'm going to turn this wine into water or this paper into gold. It's literally the process of having everything that you want and knowing how to have it rather than thinking right now you can't have it or somehow it's going to be hard or somehow you have to work for 10 years just to make the mortgage, that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Because the answers of how to do it and how to alchemize it lie within you. Does that make clear sense? Uh, yes, I absolutely got it. Then alchemizing it would be effortless, and you might find that you are completely content with nothing. Yeah, I mean, actually, you will find that. <laughs> yeah, you will. <sighs> because when you start to unlock this stuff, you no longer ever come from a place of lack. You uh, always will feel as if you have everything you need. Everything. Wow. And if you want that car, you will have it, and you will know it. And it will come to you like that. And of course, the car is just an example, but it's a matter of literally knowing that everything you want is within you and you have it. I like that youthful stuff. You know? Yeah. <laughs> well, I would say this, aging. really, Deborah, the people who are playing with this, and I say playing because it really is fun to play with this stuff. The people who are unlocking their DNA, they feel stronger, they feel healthier, they are generally smarter, they are really more confident, more centered, more focused, more successful. I mean, these things are not just pie in the sky dreams. These kinds of things really are true. So even when you talk about staying younger longer, accessing your dormant DNA, you have more energy and you literally can stop your aging. Yes. No, I, I absolutely get this. And well, here's another question. How did you learn how to do this, how to activate the DNA and RNA? Well, you know, it's so amazing because I literally just would always be practicing so much of this stuff, like tapping into this field, this quantum field, the divine, the source through a lot of the practices that we'll be talking about later, but through accessing source, it's literally like everything's there. You access source connection, your connection to the field, and you ask for what you want and you call it into you. 
And it's through the process of transforming energy. It's literally like taking energy and just being like, just with the recognition that everything's energy and it's always a matter of shifting energy, moving stuff out that's in the way energetically, blocks, limitations, points of view, perspectives, thoughts, feelings. We move those out of the way. We release them energetically and then we bring in the new energy straight from source, from the field that replaces and displaces the old stuff that's no longer working. And every time it does, we learn more. So that's how I learned it. I just kept asking, okay, how can I do this? What can I do with this? What would it take to do this? How can I serve these people better? How can I facilitate this kind of healing in animals or in people or whatever was coming up? And that's how I learned to do it. It was always about going straight to source and asking for the answers there in the direction. Okay, beautiful. Yes. And this is what we all have too, Deborah. if I could just elaborate, because right now, A lot of people on planet Earth are walking around going, I don't know what to do. I don't know who to trust. My doctor can't help me anymore. The the lawyers are just taking all my money. I I can't trust the government. Am I supposed to pay taxes? Am I not supposed to? Am I supposed to do this? Am I supposed to do that? They don't know what to do. And what I'm saying here is this is really about learning how to tap in to your connection to the universe that will always guide you correctly, will always be your guidepost, will give you the right answers that are in your highest and best good and most divine for you, most right for you, that are absolutely in alignment with integrity, with honesty, with kindness, with compassion for yourself and others. And this does sound like a lot of big dreams, but we are going through a big and radical transformation here. So it's really just about learning how to access the source through waking up your dormant potential. That's what we're talking about here. Mm -hmm. And then you get the answers that you need that you feel like you don't know. It's really because up until now, we're just giving away our power. Go to the teachers, go to the lawyers, go to the doctors, go to the government, go to the police, tell mommy, tell daddy. I mean, that's just an old paradigm that no longer exists because now it's really about saying I can go within and I can know what's right and I can follow my inner guidance, my guidepost. And I know that as long as I'm within integrity, and that I'm being absolutely honest, not harming myself or anyone else, I will know the right way to go. And I will be able to trust myself and it will be absolutely certain for me. That's what's in there. That's what's in that dormant DNA. Wow. And, and when you lead us through the meditation specifically designed to help us tap into our intuitive gifts, is that the beginning? That's going to be a taste of that? Yeah, for sure. Because as we, one of the ways we do this is, First of all, we know we have five brain waves, right? We have alpha, beta, gamma, delta, and theta. All -hmm. of the brain waves do something different. And, you know, sometimes they allow us to have, you know, telepathic communication, or sometimes they allow us to sleep, depending on which brain wave we're in. Sometimes they allow us to drive and be awake and alert. Well, the theta brain wave is the brain wave that really allows us to connect to source. That's one of the easiest ways. And we'll do that today in the meditation. We'll access the theta brain wave. We'll get a taste of what it really feels like to connect with source. We can get straight information through that connection. And then as we learn to do that more and practice it more, that's really one of the the first ways in. And by the way, that also taps us into awakening the parts of our bodies and beings that assist us in this transformation. For example, pineal pituitary glands, which are in the center of our brain. Psychics, intuitives, they call it the third eye, right? But it's there. It's real pineal pituitary gland, thymus gland in the high heart area, center of the chest, high heart. That's, that's a sensing feeling gland. As we activate these, really wake them up. We start to open up to our intuitive guidance within us. So those are some other things that really is actually relatively easy to access once we learn how to connect with source. Well, you know, I was going to have this meditation a little bit later because I have other questions I want to ask you about time jumping and speeding up of time, but I'm feeling that we should have our meditation now, and then when we're done, I'll ask you some more questions. Is that okay with you? Sounds great. Okay, let's do it. Okay, so for this meditation, what we're going to do is we're going to access the theta brainwave, and just two things right before that I need to say, make sure, obviously, this is not for driving. This is an altered state brainwave. So when we're driving, we're in a, we're in a, you know, beta brainwave in this, we wouldn't want to, you know, this is not about driving or doing. So you'll get the full effect if you're fully participating in this meditation. 
And the other thing is just to make sure you drink a lot of water before and after the meditation. So what we'd like to do here is just have your feet on the floor or on the ground if you're outside listening and start to breathe into your belly so that as you're breathing, you're taking in the breath through your nose and you're receiving that breath and feeling it come into your nose and down your breathing apparatus so that you feel it filling up your belly with that breath like you have a Buddha belly that your belly is just expanding with the oxygen as you breathe it in. And then as you start to exhale it, you allow it to go in the reverse direction and come out of your mouth. And as you inhale in a comfortable breathing way for you, you're actually inhaling. Now, instead of oxygen, just imagine that you're inhaling the breath of love. You're actually breathing in love into your nose and down your breathing apparatus and filling up your belly. And then as you exhale in a comfortable way for you, you're releasing anything and everything that doesn't feel like love, any stresses, anxieties, frustrations, worries, doubts, concerns, just let them gently release out when you exhale and then breathe the love back in. And as you're breathing in this love down into your belly and you're starting to feel it as you breathe it in, really connecting with the breath. Start to put your mind's attention on your belly center as it fills up with that breath of love. And as your mind's attention can actually feel your belly center, allow that breath of love to move down energetically with your mind into your reproductive area, which is your second chakra, your creative center. And with your mind's attention, just start to feel that area of your body as you continually breathe, continue to breathe in a comfortable pattern for you. And then with your mind's attention, start to feel that energy move into your tailbone. So you're literally feeling your tailbone area with your mind. And you can't do this wrong. So it's just a practice. There's nothing bad that can ever happen. It can only get easier as you do it more. And then with your mind's attention, you're feeling your tailbone start to Feel the energy that you're breathing in move from your tailbone down into your thighs. So you can actually feel your thighs with your mind. And you're still breathing that love and now feel that energy move down into your knees. And then feel yourself move that energy down into your calves. So you're just feeling your calves with your mind. And then energetically feel that energy move down into your ankles. And then feel your feet connected to the floor beneath you. And then imagine with your mind, big, huge roots, like the biggest, hugest roots you can possibly imagine coming out of your feet and going down through all the layers of earth. Layers and layers and layers, roots like the biggest, hugest roots of the biggest, hugest trees, just penetrating through layers and layers of earth until those roots reach the center of the earth, which is made of crystal. And let those roots, with your mind, wrap around that crystal, in and through. And as you do, you're just acknowledging Mother Earth's healing potential, the natural healing potential of the Earth and the Earth's field of energy. And as you connect with that, you then allow those roots, with your mind, to start to reverse direction and come back up through layers and layers of Earth until you can actually feel that energy rise right back up into your feet. With your mind, you're just feeling that energy in your feet. Now let it rise up so that you can feel it in your ankles. And let it rise up with your mind, still breathing comfortably, so you can feel it in your calves. And then you can feel it in your knees. And then you can feel it rise up into your thighs. And then you can feel it rise up into your tailbone. And as you feel it in your tailbone, just allow yourself to breathe even deeper into your tailbone area. So you're actually opening that energy center of your own body as you put breath of love into your tailbone. Tailbone area represents connection to the tribe, community, family, sometimes represents safety, security. So you're breathing love into that area, opening. And now move that energy with your mind's attention into your reproductive area. Once again, breathing some love into that area. That area represents our ability to do and create and to exist in a way that gives us purpose in the world. 
Now breathe that energy up into your belly center. Breathing in that belly center, expanding it even wider in every direction because you're not a limited being, you're a limitless being. And as you expand it into every direction, you're opening the belly center, which is your center of confidence and personal empowerment. And as you breathe that love in, now move it up with your mind's attention into your heart center, center of love and compassion, kindness and forgiveness. Breathe love into that heart center. You're actually expanding your heart center again in every direction, opening up and expanding your heart to more love, receiving and giving. And then breathe that energy up, that energy of love into your throat center, throat center, where your high heart exists between your heart and your throat, the center of truth, safety, trust, ability to speak your truth, breathe love right in there, honor your own throat center as you breathe that love in, connecting with source energy. And now let that energy rise up into your center of your brain. Feel the center of your brain with your mind as you're breathing in love. And just energetically breathe love right into the center of your brain. And as you do that, you can feel the center of your brain. You might even feel a little pressure. You might feel a little lightheaded. It's okay. But as you breathe in that love, you're feeling and feeding that pineal pituitary gland with energy of love that actually assists it in igniting and wakes up your dormant potential. Now move that energy, that breath of love to your scalp. Feel your scalp as you're breathing in love. You may notice some tingling. You may notice some tightness. It's okay. It's all right. That's activating your theta brainwave right there as you feel it and breathe into it. Now, imagine reaching towards the roof of your home, past the roof of your home, towards the sky, energetically reaching towards the clouds, past the clouds, towards the sun, the moon, the stars, then go beyond them. Just imagining this, that you're reaching with your mind's attention towards all the planets and then pass all of them and go beyond the entire galaxy into an energy of emptiness, nothingness, expansiveness. So just expand that energy out beyond the galaxy, beyond allness, beyond nothingness. Just feel and connect with that kind of lightness of energy. And in that place from this energy space, Look for in your mind some kind of window or door or lightness. Whatever it is, however it seems to you is right. Exactly as it is, is what it is. And let yourself sort of go through that and connect with that field. That is the field. And as you're doing this, you just allow yourself to become conscious while you're still in the space of what you feel, what you notice. Notice what you notice. Feel what you feel. Hear what you hear. Taste what you taste. Whatever it is, is right. You're just connecting to the field. Now, if we were to do some really long-term meditation, we'd start to ask for some things, whatever we wanted. We'd start to ask for it, and I'd move some energy, and we'd start to let it come in. But since we're just doing a small sampling here, just take a moment to notice what you notice. I'll just pour through a little bit of energy for just a moment. Just some energy of love. You could just really feel that energy of love start to come in. Again, just notice what you notice. Feel what you feel. You may notice it sort of, notice your body relaxing. Receive what you receive. Whatever it is, is right. Good. Beautiful. Awesome. Okay. So I would love to stay here all day. We could do a whole hour of healing alone right here, but let's just enjoy that spot and then start to remember that window or that door or that light, whatever it was that you connected with in your mind. Remember that and know you can always connect with it again. And instead, start to sort of imagine that you're coming back down, back into that empty, expansive space of nothing, nowhere, And then move energetically, once again, towards all the planets, and then past the sun and the moon and the stars. You're just doing this in your mind. There's, again, no wrong way to do this. And then back into the galaxy, back into even our atmosphere, 
through the clouds, back towards your own home. And then imagine you come in through the roof of your house or your home, wherever you are, and you're just hovering above your own body, kind of like imagine looking down at your own body. And at this point, just imagine a beautiful waterfall coming over your body, showering your body with beautiful cleansing water or even white light. Any way is fine. And even if you can't really see it, that's okay because I'm doing it for you. And then as you do that, start to feel that energy now come back into your scalp. So you can actually feel your scalp again the same way we did before. Feel your scalp with your energy, with your mind. And then now energetically move it down into the center of your brain, pineal pituitary. And once again, just feel the center of your brain. You're still breathing now, breathing really comfortably. Allow that energy now to move down into your throat center. So you can feel your throat center with your mind expanding energetically. And then once again, move that energy down, still breathing comfortably into your heart center. Feel your heart center. We're going to reground all the way so nobody feels dizzy or lightheaded. Let that energy now move from your heart center down into your belly, breathing big, deep Buddha breaths, filling up the belly with Buddha belly breaths of love. Now imagine that energy, move it down with your mind's attention, moving it down into your reproductive center, feeling that there, and then move it down into your tailbone, feeling your tailbone area, and now move that energy down faster this time, down your thighs, into your knees, into your calves, down your ankles. You can feel your feet now connected to the floor, and once again, imagine those huge roots coming out of your feet, going through layers and layers of earth until you get down to the center of the earth. You can kind of just imagine it in your mind, just see it in your mind. And with your intention, you're connecting with Mother Earth once again, regrounding here in 3D land, physical reality, connecting with Mother Earth's healing energies. Once again, wrapping in and through those healing energies in the crystalline center, and then bring those roots back up the reverse direction really, really fast through all the layers of earth until you can feel your feet again. Now start to wiggle your toes, move your ankles, feel the energy rise up your calves. You can move your calves. You can move your knees, start to feel it come up your thighs. You can start to wiggle your hips, feel your buttocks area, feel your reproductive center of your body. Move it up into your belly center, rise it up into your heart and put your hands over your heart and breathe really deep in. You can tap your shoulders, stretch your shoulders. Just know that you've brought everything from above and below centered in your heart center, the center of your body, your life, your being right there. And when you're ready, you can stretch out really big and open your eyes and come back into the physical room where you are right now and in your physical body. How you doing? Oh, well, I could say that not only is my physical body vibrating, like there's an amazing activation in my whole physical body, but I could feel that it extends beyond my physical body. Yeah. See, that's what we're waking up to. It really does. It extends beyond your physical body, way beyond your physical body. Yeah. I always feel... A lot of compassion for you, De- Deborah, because you're you're the host of the show, so you have to come right back to reality after something like that and start talking again. But it really is. It's like that extends beyond your body, and you connect with that energy. And the thing is, we do it for like you know such a brief meditation, but really, once you're in that space, it is kind of like you don't really want to come out, isn't it? A little bit like that. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot like that. <laughs> yeah, but for me, once I get in there, that's when I'm like, okay, now we're at the good stuff. Oh, we got to close up. But I could spend an mm. hour there. We could ask for anything that we want. It's like, okay, teach me everything I need to know about this. Tell yeah. me everything I know I want to know about this. I mean, it's a huge part of how we do this. And, you know, yeah. I know we'll talk more about what's in the products that we're going to talk yeah. about, you know, in the packages, but that's a lot of what we teach in there, what I'll be talking about. But I got some very profound knowledge came to me when we were in that space. Uh, yeah. Just awesome. Really, really exactly what I needed at this moment. And it was, it was really quite something. So I thank you so much for that. And fortunately, I remember my next question, which is, <laughs> what is time jumping? You said something about time jumping. Oh, what yeah. Is that? Well, here's the thing. There are an infinite number 
of dimensions of reality. They all exist right now, right? They all exist simultaneously. So in one dimension of reality, you know, you're having one experience. Maybe you're, you know, going through the experience you're going through right now. Whatever is going on in your life right now at this moment, that's a dimension of reality. Well, in another dimension of reality, all of the solutions to whatever's going on in your mind right now, they exist too. And in another dimension of reality, you're already having that car that you were talking about, or you already have that brand new house, or you have whatever it is you want. You're experiencing all those. So time jumping is literally a matter of jumping into dimensions of reality where everything you want, everything you need, you already are experiencing. It's not even about having to work hard to get it. It's not like you have to go do things anymore. You shift your reality and your experience to another dimension. And it's seamless. It's seamless. It, you know that you're doing it, and yet you don't really consciously feel it, really, although you do. It's, it's, it's almost a little challenging to explain it in only you know, a couple of minutes. However, we certainly do talk about that way in more depth in the package. But what I want to just say here is we can all do it. Everyone can do it. It's possible for everyone. And, and that's what we're really talking about is shifting your experience partially by shifting your reality, but it all is something you do internally. Okay. Now that was actually an excellent explanation. And another concept that you mentioned is the speeding up of time and so many people now, especially my listeners, they report that they're having this experience that they feel that time is speeding up. Are you just talking about that experience of time speeding up? I know some people notice it, but some people don't. So yeah. can you tell us your take on that? Well, time is an illusion. Okay. So time, we all kind of all know this, that time is a human made perspective. We created clocks. We, we tried to time it to the revolutions of the planet, the revolving of the planet around the sun. However, um, we know that that's not a constant, actually, and that as the planet is shifting in the galaxy, which it is, that's part of what's going on right now, is that time is not constant. But as we become more conscious, we actually can learn how to manipulate, to affect our experience with respect to time. So we can actually elongate our time, our experience, or shorten it if we want to, as we learn to play with this thing called time. And that's part of what we do through this work, you know, through accessing the field. But that said, I do want to just say this. Some people are noticing it. Some people aren't. Part of it is related to how conscious we are. The more conscious we are, the more we pay attention to things, the more we're going to notice. We're going to notice that time is moving faster. Our experience of time is moving faster. And it is. Some people say it's not really moving faster. A lot of people will say, well, it's just because we're getting older. No, that's just what we were trained and conditioned to think. That's not true. It's not just because we're getting older. Um, the planet is shifting. The rotations around the sun are not happening in the same amount of a 24-hour window. And physics tells us this, too. Physics is telling us we no longer are experiencing 24 hours in a 24-hour window right now. A 24-hour window looks more like 12 to 16 hours, approximately. And even that's a big difference, but that's depending on what physicists you speak to. That's what they'll tell you. So it's not the same as it used to be. And whether we notice it or not is just related mostly to our degree of consciousness about it, but we can affect it. So we don't have to feel like we're running out of time or that we don't have enough time when we learn how to access the field and ask for what we want specifically from it. So when you learn how to access the field, you actually have the ability to to slow it down again, because I know that I'm one of these people that I am very aware of time speeding up, and it's a little bit <laughs> disconcerting. I know because it is. I, I will tell you, I have gone through that and still do lots of times. However, I know if I've got something that I really need to accomplish and I need more time than is in a day, so to speak, and I need to get it done in a day, yeah. I know that I can go up to source, I can connect with that field of energy, and I can manipulate, again, which I really mean with that word, affect, the uh -huh. experience of time so that I can change my experience with time. And everybody has this potential too. Everybody can do this. 
all the stuff I'm talking about here, we all have it as we start to unlock this DNA within us. So yeah, I totally, I totally can relate to what you're saying, Deborah. (laughs) It's like, it can be quite frustrating. (laughs) Yes. And that alone is worth the price of admission. If we could learn how to slow down. And I, I know that I've done it yeah. like unconsciously that right. I look at the clock and I expect it to be so much later. And it's like, wow, what happened? Yeah. Because it, it, it hasn't moved as fast as I thought that it had, but I would love to be able to do it consciously. Yeah. Let me just tell you some of the things, really, some of the real benefits of this kind of stuff. That's one of them. Absolutely. Working with time. The thing is, we're in a window of time, a period of time, which is years. It's not It's not like a month. It's a good number of years where we are, as a species, a human species, learning how to adapt to what will eventually become a new reality, a new way of being. So all these things we're talking about right now during this call, these are just, this is the time to learn about it, to play with it, to practice it. How do we manipulate time? I mean, one of the things I teach people in my advanced intuitive class is how to put your hands on books, materials, and receive all the information that you need out of them without having to actually read them. (laughs) These are some of the gifts we're starting to be able to play with. Now, it's at a window of time right now, so to speak, where we're learning how to do it. And we have an extended period of time to do that, to become the masters of this stuff that we are eventually meant to be. So, so it's great that you're noticing that about time, Deborah, and it's great that you're starting to notice that you can change it. By the way, you can do the same thing with money. I've played with it with money where it's like, okay, how can I have more money just be in my wallet than was there before. Like this kind of stuff is possible. It sounds crazy, but it's really possible. So, well, these are the things. To my listeners, your life without limits, it doesn't sound crazy. Right, and we right, want right. to know how we can do it. So I definitely want to know, I know that you created a special offer for everyone who's listening to this call. And before you tell us about the offer, can you share a few of the most inspiring turnarounds that you've seen from people uh, who have applied what you teach, some things you've seen in people's lives? Yeah. Well, let me tell you two that come to mind right away. One is one of my clients, she came to me only less than six months ago. And when she came to me, she was really dealing with some, she was not suicidal, but she was really dealing with a lot of hopelessness. She felt her animal companion had crossed over, who was her beloved, most trusted friend. And she really had gotten to a point where she felt like the state of the world was really bad and she was extremely hopeless. She felt as though she really couldn't connect with her own guides and her angels. She had tried. She had listened to a lot of programs and worked with some healers before. She wasn't having the results she wanted. And she came to me and she's like, look, I'd like to do some work with you. And I'd like to learn about what you're doing. And anyway, within a few short months, Not only was she connecting with her own guidance, feeling very connected to her guides, she was practicing animal communication and having a two-way telepathic dialogue with them, but really her, her everyday life transformed. So she got a new job. When she got the new job, by the way, they offered her four weeks vacation in spite of the fact that she only asked for three. That seemed like a lot. She got more money. They actually gave her a higher salary than she asked for. And she got all those other things with the job that, you know, the other perks like her private office, you know, better title. But so her professional life transformed, her financial life transformed. She really transformed her body too, because she had come to me, she really needed some physical healing. Her digestive system was off. She wasn't feeling well. She was feeling ill. She wasn't being able to get to sleep at night. She wasn't being able to wake up in the morning. Physically, she was not in balance. So We did a lot of energy work with her on that. She transformed all of that. And now she's working on an ongoing basis. She still has her career, but on a part-time on the side, she's doing healing work with animals and humans. And she's developed her own healing gifts through classes. And this is a matter of months. I'd say she's been working with me for less than six months. But everything that's in the package is the stuff that she's been using and applying. Then I have another example of someone, an older woman, who had come to me right after her husband had crossed over. He had passed away. And when she came to me, she said, Lori, 
you know, my husband left me. I'm all alone. My family, my children and their grandchildren don't really speak to me. I don't really have any friends. I don't have a job because my husband worked and I don't really know what to do. Money wasn't really her issue, but she didn't have any friendships, any relationships. She didn't feel happy. She didn't feel like there was really anything to look forward to. And she actually called me a week earlier than she actually ended up entering a hospital for an appendix that burst. And she said, okay, I'm going to make this session with you. And then she was in the hospital. I didn't hear from her. She called me from the hospital and she goes, okay, we really need to get started (laughs) right after the hospital. And so we started right away. And within less than a week, first of all, the doctor could not believe how quickly she was healing. He could not believe that she was up and moving about so quickly after a major surgery of having her appendix burst. She had to have it removed. So then even after that, though, she, within a very short time, she got a job at a local library. She was making friends with the people she worked with. She got a volunteer job at a rescue organization. She started practicing animal communication in a volunteer capacity. She was making more friends there. And the biggest thing for her, which was most important, was that her family, her children, started coming over her house and having a relationship and opening the door for her to have relationships with their children, her grandchildren. Her relationships with all of her family members transformed, that they started spending you know, the holidays together. And then even the mother-in-law of her son started coming to her. By the way, she hadn't gotten along with the mother-in-law of the son. And that mother-in-law started coming to her asking for help and guidance. I mean, her whole life started to transform on so many levels because she was doing this work. And I'm not saying she did this 10 hours a day or she had to go away to Maui to do it. She simply started doing it on a regular basis by using all the tools that are talked about and taught about and the energy activations that we'll discuss that are in this package. And I mean, she was working with me, but this is what she was using and applying. Wow. Fantastic. Yeah. Well, any one of those, you know, healing the relationships, the job, the friend, I mean, that is beautiful. So I'm really excited about helping everybody on the call live the life that they were meant to live. And I know there's so much more that you can give us. And I would love everybody on the call to go to Lori's special offer page right now and experience this for yourself. Just click on the special offer button on this web page. So Lori, can you tell everyone what they'll find there? Yeah. Okay. So the first product is actually a series of products in and of itself. It's an ebook, which is, I think it's approximately 105 pages or maybe 130 pages approximately. It's an ebook and an accompanying workbook, which is somewhere around 30 to 50 pages. But in that, it's called How Psychic Are You? It's the seven keys, simple steps, seven simple steps to understanding and unlocking your psychic potential, your intuitive potential. And It's the basics of understanding how to access this and how to use it and how to apply it in your life. And it also comes with six MP3s. So it's the audio book and the audio workbook. And if you were to go to my website, by the way, that would cost almost $400. It's $397. So that right there alone, just through your generosity, Deborah, is right there valued at the price of the package. But so it's literally the steps of how to really access your intuitive gifts, your talents and abilities, your inner knowing, trust your guidance, know when you're receiving it, what it's saying, you know, how to listen to it, when to listen to it, where to apply it in your life, how to apply it in your life, et cetera. So that's what those items are about. And then product two is also multiple products. It's an MP3 class called Learn Basic Numerology, as well as a 35 plus page PDF ebook. Now, that class was valued at $99, but it's literally the class on learning numerology. Now, here's what I say about this. Numerology, it's a tool that I use when I'm doing intuitive readings, when I'm doing guidance for people. I use numerology. And the reason I do that is because numbers are a universal language. One is one is one, no matter whether you're saying it in Greek, French, Roman, you know, German, Italian, it doesn't matter. And one Indeed, all the numbers have an energy, and that energy can be translated to words that have meaning to us in our lives. 
And so to practice numerology, it's literally as simple as understanding how to add numbers and what the different adding of numbers means. So you can find out things like your life lessons, your life mission, your divine purpose, your dharma, your karma, what the year is going to mean for you, um, what, you know, what your birth path is, your life path, the greatest things you can find out. And you can do it for anybody. So here's the most amazing thing about this product is you can learn numerology and suddenly become a numerologist. You can make a business just out of numerology, just from that one item alone, if that's something you wanted to do and you love doing it. But the way I used numerology when I first learned it, I'm going to say this really fast, is when I was living in Maui during those two years, I didn't know anybody. I had no friends. So everywhere I'd go, I'd just be like, hey, let me do your numbers for you. What's your birthday? What's your name? That's all you need to know. And you can do their numerology and you can give them all kinds of great insights and information. And it's fun. It's a great way to meet people and make friends and have fun. So, but of course you can make a career of it too. So, okay, that's numerology. Um, and that's that product. Then product three is an MP3 teleclass called what is a light worker and could I be one too? That teleclass is valued at $50. Now, when I gave that teleclass, it's really, really designed for people like the people in your audience, your listeners who are all waking up. We're all waking up and people are starting to say, well, am I a light worker? What is it? Like, what's my role? What's my mission? Why am I here? Why am I waking up? How come other people around me aren't? Is it real? Isn't it? That's what this class goes into. And it really helps you to understand if you are a light worker and what your role is as a light worker and what light workers do and yeah, you know, there's other words for them like way showers, divine change agents, change makers. But basically, that's what that class is all about. And it's really helpful for people who are really starting to tap into their gifts and not entirely sure how to use them. So then product four is called What is Ascension? And why does your dormant DNA hold the keys for you? And that also has energy activations and DNA upgrades. Now, this is a three-hour-plus MP3 teleclass. It's valued at $99. The stuff that we talked about in this call goes way deeper into that. What is your dormant DNA? Why does it hold the keys for you to unlock your greatest potential? You know, what is ascension? What does it really mean for you? How do you change realities, new paradigms, new timelines, navigating through this shift and the speeding up of time? A lot of the stuff we talked about today, this goes way deeper into it. And not only that, but it also has powerful theta healing where we access the theta brainwave and we do healing using that theta brainwave to direct all of our cells and our parts of our body to transform right into more healing, more potential. And we also do energy activations. And of course, there's DNA, RNA upgrades on there. So you get the actual DNA upgrading in there. Then product five is a manifestation and healing circle, which I do those regularly. That is also a three-hour MP3 class with live energy healing on it. So lots of energy healing, energy activations, theta healing, as well as also DNA and RNA activations. And of course, we talk about the fundamentals of theta healing and what that is, plus the whole manifestation process, which is a lot of what we had referred to earlier when we were talking about alchemy, it's that process of manifesting into reality, actualizing that which we really desire. So that's what that class is about. And then product six is, this is one of my favorite products, Deborah. I love, love, love this product so much. I got together with a friend of mine and we did energy healing for the planet's animals. And really what we did during this it's a two-hour MP3 class. It's valued at $75. And it literally, what we did was we tapped into the consciousness of the animals and we started asking, what do you want since this shift is going on? What do you want for your future reality? What do you want the humans to know and how to transform your life? Because they're waking up too. They've got dormant DNA too. They've got dormant potential too. And so as we wake up, so are they. So we really tapped into them Ask what they want. We channeled through a lot of information through Archangel Metatron during this call. And the other amazing thing is when they get this product, they will be referred to another website where they will get thousands of dollars in free downloadable energy activation products for their home, their work office, their computer, and of course, their animal companions too. So 
this is not, this product alone is worth thousands of dollars. And those aren't things that you download for work. It's like, in other words, you download them and they start working for you. They're gifts. So, okay. So that's product six. Then product seven is living in the overflow. That's a 50 minute MP3 teleclass. It's all about really waking up and it's the stuff that your listeners, I know, absolutely love. It's all about really stepping out of lack and limitation, stopping playing small and stepping into living your greatest potential and your best life and allowing all areas of your life to transform as you do that. So that's what that class is about. And product eight is also a 50 minute MP3 that's valued also at $50. It's theta healing for the new year. This is just a 50 minute theta healing all focused about on really having a happy and healthy, most empowered life. And it's through this process where we do theta healing using the theta brainwave. And that, of course, has that theta meditation on there, as do, by the way, all of the other products where we do energy work. And that's live energy. It's active energy on that MP3. Then product nine, this is something I put together. It's my favorite metaphysical prayers for lightworkers. It's a mini ebook. And it's valued at $10. I love this. I put together all my favorite prayers. There's prayers in there that help you to connect with the archangels. There's prayers in there that help you to connect with your guides and your unseen helpers and healers. There's a prayer in there to call in your romantic, divine, compatible partner. There's the Akashic Records prayer to access your Akashic Records. If you know how to do that, you can use that prayer. Uh, There's a prayer in there for love and romance and money and wealth. Every time I do that prayer in there for money and wealth, I get new, unexpected, joyful money come to me. I swear, sometimes it's just $10 shows up in my mailbox I wasn't expecting, and sometimes it's more, but it's a prayer, and it works for money. Um, now, I've had some really amazing responses from, from people who have used those prayers saying they just said the prayer, and they got new checks for huge amounts of money, so there's that. Then product 10 is, I call that Ethel's Gold. It's literally a $100 coupon towards any of my live or pre-recorded teleseminars or workshops. So that's literally a $100 coupon in Ethel's Gold. And I do workshops in teaching animal communication and developing your psychic intuitive gifts, energy healing, Reiki, locating lost animals, animals in the afterlife. I mean, you can apply that. That's literally a $100 towards any of the products. And so it's not for private sessions, but it is for any workshops or seminars that I do. And then finally, Product 11 is the Juicy Living ebook. That is a collection of inspirational quotes just to really infuse you and help you feel inspired in life. I know when I first started doing this work, really first started, there weren't a lot of wonderful teleseminars like yours, Deborah. And I used to just need inspiration on a daily basis. So I would collect quotes and cut them up, you know, and paste them everywhere, like on the dashboard of my car, on the bathroom mirror, on the exit of my door, my back door, my front door. So I would be inspired every day because that literally one ounce of inspiration shifts your energy just by reading something like that. So that's why I put that together and included it in the package. And if you look at all those items together, I know I spent a lot of time talking about it. It's just that I really love this package. I loved creating it, and I'm really proud of it. That package is valued at uh, $1,040. And just for your audience, for your listeners, it's discounted. So they save $943 and get it at the package rate of $97. That's a 90% savings. And I believe that as a light worker. My job is just to make this stuff available to people as much as I possibly can and to reach as many people as I can. So I just packed it full of content and I'm just so grateful that, you know, I get to make it available with you today. Well, all I could say is you had us with hello. I mean, (laughs) (laughs) seriously, it's like after the very first item, I'm like, Okay, and then the second and the third, and also use of the total package value is $1,040, but if we also get that link to another place that has another $1,000 worth of product, it's really $2,040, which is really a 95% discount, and Mm. just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, we all thank you. 
this oh, is yes. just amazing. I, I appreciate you saying that because when I created these products, every time I was creating them, I was energetically infusing them. So when you're even when you're reading the ebooks, there's energy infused in the products. And sometimes people feel the energy consciously. Sometimes they don't. Sometimes it's more so, but it's always active and it's working. And so even if you're not consciously feeling it, it's still working for you, for your highest divine potential. And I just think you can't really even put a dollar amount on it so much because like those DNA upgrades and activation, I've had people write to me and say they, you know, they listen to those DNA activations one night and then suddenly that week they finished the book that they weren't able to finish for years because they just didn't have the energy or the inspiration. And suddenly they got the, they got some kind of energy that allowed them to propel themselves forward to complete their book or those kinds of things. And you'll hear a lot of those stories in the MP3s of those classes where people share their success stories. So if you haven't done it yet, just click on the special offer button on this page to see for yourself what an amazing package this is. You will be so glad you did. And that's where you will find this very, very magnificent package. And I was going to ask you, what are some of the biggest benefits that people can expect to experience starting right away and over time by applying this program? And I know that the benefits are so numerous, but I love that, you know, getting something finished that we'd been trying years to finish. That's a great short-term benefit. Yeah. I mean, just really briefly, some of the short-term benefits are increased energy, feeling happier, like immediately the same night. Some people tell me I had so much energy. I got so much done that night. They feel so great. They feel happier. Some people almost immediately, they'll say, I slept better than I've ever slept before. Some people say, wow, I got information that I've been, just like you said in the meditation, I got some information that I needed answers on just really came to me. Aha moments. People always talk about, oh, I had this aha moment. And that happens right away. Long term, definitely more energy, feel more enthusiasm about life, feel more excitement and joy about life, feel more optimism. I mean, I had somebody who would do these manifestation and healing circles and he had $10,000 he manifested in two days. Two days later, he manifested $10,000 more. So more money, people find new agents, new success in their career from doing some of this work. Obviously healing, physical healing, emotional healing, energetic healing, long-term, those are definitely real benefits that people start to experience. And everybody's unique, but these are some of the long-term results we can definitely see. And these kinds of benefits, by the way, are permanent. They're not like we do it once and then they're gone. They, they, they accumulate over time. So the more you do it, the more you benefit. Well, again, all I could say is, wow, and thank you. And this is amazing. And also the meditation you took us through was amazing. All of your knowledge was amazing. And before we sign off, is there anything else you'd like to share with us? Any final thoughts before we go? I just want to say thank you to all of your listeners. I mean, I'm just so grateful because I know that the people who are listening right now and who listen regularly are so, um, you know, to your life without limits, they're so really waking up and they're out there. I know that you guys are all out there living your fullest potential and assisting in the awakening of planet Earth. So I just want to thank you guys for everything you're doing and honor each and every one of you for your role. I know you are all divine, magnificent change agents out there. And I'm so grateful to everything you're doing for planet earth, for, for the people and the animals on earth. And I especially want to thank you, Deborah, because you, you've been a champion to me in a lot of ways. And I am so truly grateful to you. I really appreciate you. And I appreciate you having me as a guest on the show. I'm just so grateful. Thank you. Really. Well, we, love you. I love you. And this has been truly magnificent. And I hope you'll come back again. Yes. And thank you to everyone for spending this time with me and with Lori Spagna. And I look forward to when we are all together again, and to you living your life without limits. This is Deborah Poneman. Have a wonderful rest of your day.